everyone, welcome back. Tonight I spent some time decorating one of our chipboard gift boxes and it got me thinking that I wanted to show you how really easy they were to actually assemble. So I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Um, I have decorated one as well, just to show you what you can do with them. So that's my little keepsake for a baby boy. Now to decorate, I have used papers and stamps from the nesting range. So a really cute baby range that we've currently got. And I've used um, our Distress Paint Dabbers. Now I love the effect of the paint dabber on the chipboard. I love the roughness of it and it also allows you to put some extra paint on the on the joins if you so want to. Um, so all I've used is the nesting range and the paint and some adhesive and the kit. So this is how the kits come. They come like this, all packaged, ready to go. So it's chipboard gift box kit and the order number is 7585. So I'm just going to Set them out. Now, there's a really, really easy trick. I'm gonna try and get it close enough so you can see. On all of the cardboard bits, there's a little letter. Now that letter helps you to match the corresponding letters. So the lid has four letters on each side. I don't know if you can see. So you've got G, F, You've got letters on all four sides. Now that's really easy. That tells me it's a lid, which goes with these bits and they're correcting letters. So I'm just gonna quickly lay them out. Now it doesn't matter if you make the box or the lid first, but all you wanna do is you just want to join the letters with the corresponding letters. I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And the same for the base. So I have letter D, C, C. So I know that those two go together. That's my middle one, because again, it has the four letters, so it has A, B, C, D. So now I just need to join up the corresponding letters to that. Now, you, as you can see, they just fit inside of each other, like almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so now that I know which letters go which, all I need to do is glue it together. So I'm gonna use some glossy accents and the fine tip applicator to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Um, that's just mine of choice. So basically what you wanna do out of those first five bits that form the base, I wanna glue the first three together. So I'm just going to put glue in the ridges I'm going to join it together and stand it up. I'm just gonna hold that for a second so that I know it stays. And I'm going to add some glue to my third piece. Now, as I mentioned before, I have painted my box. I've only painted the outside of my box. If you want to paint the inside, probably do that before you start gluing it together. Um, so again, I'm just going to lay it down, slip the pieces inside and then slip those side pieces in together as well and just hold it tight for a couple of seconds to make sure they really join together. And now I'm just going to join the other two pieces on as well. So again, making sure that my letters correspond with the letters. Now tricks for decorating, just while I'm gluing, don't forget to make sure that you 
put adhesive all the way around on your decorative paper if you're using paper to decorate especially up the top because you don't want the lid to catch the anything that's not stuck down properly also remembering that the lid does come down so be careful with your designs if you want to completely see your designs with the lid on and make sure that you don't make them too thick that the lid won't fit on there is quite a bit of give on the lid so you do have some space to put some layers on but make sure you don't layer it up too much otherwise the lid is going to get stuck on or off or rip up your things in the process so we're just gonna now glue our fourth and final side on And again, just join up the bottom first, tip it up, and the sides go in nice and easily. So there's our base already done in a matter of minutes. And the lid does exactly the same. So now we just want to follow that process with the lid as well. So I'm just going to separate them a little bit. So again, matching up our corresponding letters. Now these letters can't be seen on the inside once they're on. I mean, you probably can if you, know, you really look, but they are small in design to help with hiding, but to make it easier for assembly. The box does hold together really well um, once you actually get those first couple in, of course. And these boxes can be used for anything. I've done mine for a boy because I've had a friend who has just had a new baby boy and it inspired me but you know they're great little gift boxes good for teacher presents or you know birthday presents keepsakes 18th 21st weddings you name it it's just one of those really quick and simple things to put together that you can then decorate until your heart's content Now, with your box, you just want to make sure that from the inside, you've got no gaps. So if you have any gaps, just push those corners back in together until it dries. Once you've found that if it dries, it needs a little bit more glue, then just add a little bit more glue onto that. So now I've picked it up before it's dry. I'm just going to re, re stick that on. Making sure that my letter is on the inside because the last thing I want is for the letter to be on the outside. There we go. Much better. I'm just going to hold that again just for a second. I'm probably being just a little bit too quick to put it together right now, but it's purely for benefit so that then slides on nice and easy and we have a pre-made chipboard gift box that you can then decorate any which way you like so again that's you know just a little bit of what it can look like thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed it and good luck creating bye